The Labor Ministry assured the public today that it will stick to its earlier decision to reinstate seven national holidays for private sector workers if it does not pass five-day workweek legislation before the first of those holidays comes up. Business interests remain firmly set against the addition of those public holidays. The Labor Ministry said earlier that it would look at seven additional national holidays for private sector workers depending on the outcome of its push for legislation on a five-day work week. It now looks as though the legislation will not be passed before the arrival of the next designated national holiday, Teachers' Day, on September 28. If, despite our efforts, we're not able to get the new law passed in time, we'll let workers take a holiday on September 28. For us, passing any given law happens according to a certain schedule. But to be frank, when it comes to the legislature, we have little control nor do we know how they will handle matters in the future. The members of the executive branch are only addressing the symptoms and not the root cause. When facing different pressures, they'll just work to alleviate those concerns for the time being. But this approach doesn't amount to a policy direction. It's just chaos. The Labor Ministry's plan to reinstate seven national holidays for private sector workers has prompted a considerable backlash from the private sector. One economist advised against an overly ambitious increase in holiday time. One relatively precise way of calculating labor participation is by counting working hours. So if your working hours are shortened, of course it will have an adverse effect on economic growth. The head of the Yuenda Polaris Research Institute, Liang Guoyuan, said workers and management needed to avoid continued estrangement and come to an understanding on the issue of vacation time.